Hello and welcome to another episode of Two Siblings Let's Play. Today, me and Sky are going to be playing a very different game. Crackle Cradle. This game, I'm warning you right now. Well, based on the screen, you can probably tell, but this is not exactly a nice game. No, it's totally nice. It's children friendly and everything. It just has blood and, and gore and things like that. That's that's part of children. No, I'm not going to pick new game. No, no. Instead, I'm going to go to stage so I can go one by one. Because I'm still trying to beat the final boss, and I'm not about to start all the way from the beginning, raise all my data for you guys. No, do it. I like the little fox. Oh, get on here. Alright. Which character should I play? Nana, Ryoko, or Yuki? Uh, Ryoko. Sure? Sure. Too bad, I'd like Yuki. I'd like Yuki the best out of all of them. You're mean. Well, it's true. She's very... Well, you'll see. Wait. Yeah. He like does these crazy little flips. No, no, she doesn't. She just walks everywhere. Can't you tell? This, I'm just playing around. I know. This is a very easy level. You can't. It's almost impossible to lose here. I'm pretty sure you can lose here. I mean, granted. I mean. Now some people are gonna think challenge accepted. Then all you do is stand. Wow, you see, this is what I get for playing around. I get shot. That's what you get. Ah, like I said, no, I know what you're thinking. This doesn't look very brutal so far. Well, once again, level one, easy enemies. And these things, not too hard. Yeah, and with that, I just beat the first level. You know, maybe ah. you should just stop. Are you? Are you still? Now look. If you're gonna do here's the. This monster, not too hard. Unless I, you let like, yourself get caught. You're like, gonna die. No, I'm not dead. Not dead. You're gonna lose in the first level. And not the first level. This is a, This is actually level two. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, now no way we have to fight all my way through that. Yeah, I know we're gonna get out of that one alive. She lost her shoe. Well, it's the price to live. You lose a shoe. If you live a shoe, you don't lose your life. Alright then. A small price. And, and I you die. Your shoe was sacrificed for nothing. Yes, my shoe was sacrificed. Huh? Oh, actually, that reminds me. That, you know the guy from PBS like YouTube channel? Uh, why am I doing this? I don't know why I'm doing that. He proposed, you know, the idea of teleportation. <laughs> really? He proposed the idea of teleportation? Yeah, he got on the topic about it. It was that and a bunch of other topics. But he mentioned teleportation. It was a really interesting idea. He said... I what? keep forgetting it takes two shots to kill those things. <laughs> wow, I am doing really bad, right? Did I, am I really the same person? Did not have to fight his way to the final level? Yeah, it's because you, you bragged about it and therefore you changed it. Hey, you know what? You're probably right. I am. I'm always right, except when I'm wrong. Well, maybe it's because I'm using the flashy, impractical character. You said you wanted to use Yuki. You said it was her favorite. Because he's flashy and impractical. Right. Anyway, so what happens is he proposes teleportation. But he proposes it her. in the sense... And I got eaten. And now she's going to well, be digested. Alright. And uh, you proposed it in the idea that what if when you get teleported, mm -hmm. you know, it's not you actually being teleported, it's merely like a clone version that's exactly like you being created and being sent to that other side. Wait, wasn't that a movie? I don't know. Majestic. I know, but no, no, there was a movie about an, an illusionist whose trick involved him appearing in. Seemingly escaping this impossible no, situation. No, that was in that was wasn't that in uh, Twilight Zone? No, no, that no, no, that that was a proper movie. Oh, never mind. But the thing was, it wasn't actual teleportation. It was actually a clone being created of him, while the real one drowned, 
and apparently he thought this was the best possible use for that technology to perform a magic trick. This doesn't make any sense. Out of all the uses, he decided to use that. Also, how do the clones feel about this? I don't know. They kept doing the trick. So, so apparently they thought it was a brilliant idea. Right. Anyway, so he proposed this idea. What would people allow this uh, teleportation device if you got killed instantly, though? Like, you instantly deteriorated. That well, would be fine, but what if Okay, you these guys, they will punch you and it will not be nice. So don't let them do that. Punch, punch. Punch the face. This is alright. Punch the face. Yeah, this is alright. Alright, and you propose, you know, but if hmm. it happened instantly, what if all teleportation was like that? You're, you're really Wait, having, I'm grabbing that hell up. Like, you're really having another version of yourself being made. Okay, then let me ask said, you. Oh, no, wait, he wasn't done. He wasn't done. He wasn't done. He then said, but what if now. Ah! You didn't this is what I get for talking to you. This is the let's play. I have to talk. It's not sibling, let's be silent play. Well, not maybe. Just maybe. Oh, I didn't know how you could grab anything behind there. Because there's actually is then nothing behind it. Nothing is behind there, Brick. And it's this is really an empty box. And this is embarrassing. You don't. Anyway, so you propose the uh, idea of what if, however, you weren't going to die instantly? What if in reality you are going to now have a permanent condition that would kill you off? And it would be completely painless, but you would die in about two days. And your clone version would now be over there with the same memory, same purpose, same idea, but it's not you. It is you, and at the same time, it's not you. What would this, uh, he was trying to propose, what would this consider in politics? Should these clones have rights? Should we not? Should this technology even be allowed? The real you know, question. Of course, it's, it's a completely fictional technology. That's why it's a supposed what if scenario. Right. Yeah, one. and I beefed it up bad. Get that one. Yeah, I got punched it up. So what was it you were going to say? So wouldn't you be more concerned about the rights of a person who's going to die in two days? That's what they were trying to do. What, what do you consider? Do you even go through this? Would you? No. But at the same time, like you said, he argued, but well, it's you, but it's not you, and at the same time, it is you. But, like I said... Hey, hey so long, suckers! Yeah, I don't know. Looks like Ben and Mel get in. Yeah. Hey, don't worry, I'm just doing this to mess with them. I don't have to do this at all. Mm-hmm. Now I wonder if we're going to fall in and just die again. No. Mm -hmm. So much for that. See? Like that. You jinxed it! I didn't jinx anything. You, you were jinxed to show it! it off. So it's one. Yeah. You're trying to show off. Fine then, no show off then. After <laughs> this! <laughs> yeah, I'm just bad. Oh, we already. Remember, started. here at Sibling Let's Play, we never once claimed to be capable. Well, that's not bad. I mean, who, well, else, I didn't know who that. else does that? Uh, Yo Cass and Super Best Friends. But they were actually good at games. So they're best friends? Well, well. If I remember correctly, they're bad at a lot of games. And then say they're bad at every game they play. Like the Yokas, they do have a few good players. But the majority of them aren't good, and that's why you watch them. Because they're funny while they're playing, and they're not being good at it. That's true. So isn't the Super Best Friends also like that? Well, not really. Sometimes they're surprisingly good. But that's sometimes. And do you watch them just to show, so they can show off how much better they are at you at a game? Because chances are, I bet people aren't watching them for that. They're watching them for the yeah, comedy and to see them play. You must get punched in the Probably play. not that well. I'm not even sure what's killing me anymore. Uh, combination. Everything. That was the answer. Everything was killing me. Everything at once. Okay, let's beat this level then. No more fun and games. <laughs>
butchered the language. I apologize to any French people or anyone who knows French. There. See? I did it just fine. And here's the boss. Boom. I don't want this guy's this guy's easy. It's just a tank. With this. That's what you think. What but seriously, don't let him ram you. Otherwise, you were... Well, the ramming techniques are proven effective even in real life. Yeah, trust me. That thing he just did, don't let him hit you with that. And don't, and don't let the arms grab you. Now you're dead. <sighs> that was the sound of an apple being munched. In case you didn't know. Did it even pick up? I don't know. If they didn't hear it now, they'll be wondering, what the heck sound are you talking about, woman? You could have been losing them. As most women are. And mm -hmm. men. The whole world's delusional. Huh? We're all crazy. Some are just more open about it than others. Could See, be argued could... that, I mean, there was a guy in TED Talk who went through the book that gives you all the different... See? Easy! What's it called? Different this is the easiest you can be labeled as? This boss. The easiest one in the game. You literally cannot lose to it. But it was the different things you could be labeled as that would require you to get treatment for. And he went and looked at it and according to the book he has 11 different diagnoses. And then he went and tested out to a bunch of people that no one would consider in their right mind needing treatment and they, each of them after going through the book According to the book, they needed treatment. They needed treatment? Okay, now pay attention. You see that thing right there? No, that's I'm pointing at it with the cruiser. You know, I'm going to let it hit me. Just Boom! Me. You happy? Yay! Careful, because the next level is full of them, and this is a rose. With T. Wants to be your friend. That wants to kill you. Oh, HP. Need that. Wants to be your friend. Boom. Boom. Aha, you can't touch me. Can't touch these. And, and, and. Jellyfish. Don't let them touch you. Seriously. Don't. You just pretty much don't let anything touch you. How's that? You see it, don't let it touch you. There we go. Pops off. Yeah. Don't let it touch you and keep your eye on the ground. Oh, you really? see that thing? Don't let it touch you. For the sticks? Yep. Because this level, you get, trust me when I say some parts of this level is just rife with those sticks. I don't see I hate gardening. Gardening. Look, you see there's me. another one right there. There's oh, another. I see the stick. But I'm too smart. Ooh. Ah. Now, my we, Ooh. You know what we really mean? If there was a stick right behind those boxes, right here, this would be me. You know what would be meaner? Mm. If that water you're walking on, actually every time the jellyfish go in it, it gives an electrocution which hurts you. You see this? You can go up. There's absolutely no reason to do that. Why would you do that? Because it's cool. Alright then. What are those plants in? Are they in water or is that just Yeah, it's water. Plant? Okay, you see that thing? You see this black thing on the ground? Boom! Ouch. Yes, ouch indeed. Well, no. You died. No, I haven't died yet. But I will die soon. Hello, darkness, my friend. I've come to talk to you once again. And I got impaled. Well, you probably had it coming. Alright, let's try this one more time. We're wrapping up this episode. So, what is this? Ouch. It's called you dying. Boom! Okay. 
See, did I make it through? All right, I think this is where we first see it. You see that thing right there? You see that thing? That thing's a one-shot kill. Do not. Too late. You know, I'm gonna try that one more time just to prove, not try to beat it, but just to show you how dangerous those crocodiles are. You already did. You got one shot it. Yes, but I was almost dead. So we're just gonna let the I think you're gonna get killed by a few other things. You're probably right. No, you didn't. Yeah, the thing the plant spitted me out, but I landed right into the jellyfish. The jellyfish even has this move where it grabs you and starts to like you. I think you. Wow. Dude. I am focusing way too much on that jellyfish. And I dropped the shotgun! And now you're dead. I'm dead. So now? The jellyfish, once they spit you out, the jellyfish are gonna get Look, you. see. You missed it. I told you. No, I saw the jellyfish. They got you. They got you from the head. Mm-hmm. But don't worry. The grabbing you from the head doesn't kill you. It's when they start shocking you that kills you. Okay, for now, to end the episode. Boom! Wow. He eats you. You are now eating. Keep in mind, this is after I turned off blood and gore. You turned off the blood and gore, wow. Yep. It's to, I can, it's to make the game go run a little faster. Okay. Well, that's it for now, so until next time, people. Be sure to like and subscribe whatever it is other people do now these days if you don't like us then just don't do anything so yeah next time i'll be playing with a different character yeah. so ciao ciao Bye. till next time this is brick this is sky goodbye